the hardest thing about communicating math to a general audience is that you're dealing with people who have been traumatized to a large extent. A lot of people have flashbacks when they think about their old algebra class or they remember something in long division that really bothered them. So there's a, it's not just a matter of teaching the subject, but sort of overcoming past injuries. Kids do seem to find some fun in math through the way I teach it. And, and it's not me, it's the subject. If the subject is conveyed as it really is, it's very playful. I mean, mathematicians are like little kids who want to play and find patterns. And the truth is, all little kids like that. People like to do puzzles, people like crossword and jigsaw, because puzzles are fun. And, and solving puzzles is very much of what math and science people do every day and get paid to do it. The question of what we need math for and what level a person should be expected to know, you can get by pretty well with arithmetic. We all know that just to make change or to figure out a tip, what you learned in fourth grade is probably enough. That's true. But, but some of the most interesting jobs today, for one thing, depend on having some knowledge of algebra or calculus or geometry. Like if you want to go into high tech, computers, pharmaceuticals, finance, you know, I mean, think of what it takes to do hedge fund calculations. You need probability and statistics. So if, if you ignore those things or don't have any taste for them, you will cut yourself off from a lot of the most interesting jobs in the world. But I actually think there's other reasons why we want people to learn higher math, which is really, for me, the strongest is, is that it's very beautiful. That it's sort of, to me, like asking, why do I need to learn music or, or watch Michael Jordan play basketball? You, you know, you don't. You need to watch Michael Jordan. But if you do, you'll get a lot of pleasure from it. And so I want people to get pleasure from the beauty of math. Um, there's also the point that the world is built on math. You know, that if you look at the laws of physics, they're written in advanced mathematics. They're written in the language of what we call differential equations. And that's true even in quantum theory, the most sophisticated modern science we know. But it was true of the way the planets move and how water sloshes around. All these things are governed by calculus and differential equations. And so, to me, there's this invisible world which you can't see unless you know math. And I want people to be able to see it.